Oh, in this video, I want to share a very powerful meditation I just came out of. It's using the Narmada Lingam. So you can also use regular Lingam as well. And uh, as I mentioned in my first video, if you haven't watched it, check out the first video. I believe it was called uh, Lingam Secrets, Narmada Lingam. Um, I made a, a very long video talking all about these. And I mentioned that these are a uh, very intuitive technology, that they are considered to be guru, that you can get intuitive insights, information, wisdom, knowledge, revelation, etc. So whilst I was meditating with this today, I had a really powerful experience and something that I really, really believe in and I want to share it with you. So what I was doing is after a little mudra practice that I did, which is a consisting of breathing in certain hand positions, you don't have to worry about that. You can just go straight into this or you can do a, a, a quick meditation to kind of uh, get you into a nice silent state. I recommend the uh, one minute meditation from Dr. Ply. You can also do uh, really what's really easy and simple too is a pranayama, which is a breathing exercise. Uh, one that I really recommend, especially for in the morning time is called breath of fire. Breath of fire is um, using your nostrils. You, you breathe in, you let the breath out about halfway, and then you, you forcibly exhale out of your nostril and it adds that's the focus and it pumps the air back in. So you're not actually breathing in, you're just, you're forcibly blowing the air out and your stomach will naturally, your belly button kind of comes in. You don't have to worry about sucking your stomach in, you don't have to worry about breathing in. The key is forcible breath and you do that for about three minutes or so. You can do it sitting down. That will pump a bunch of oxygen to your blood. It also puts your, it, it really strengthens your energy systems as well. And it puts you into a very, very, very nice state, conducive state of meditation. The last other one for breathing is a pranayama, which is alternate nostril breathing. Using your right hand, you will start with your right, right side. Breathe in, hold, breathe out to the left. And you keep doing this. I, like, you, I think you finish on the left side. So you breathe out on the left side and that's the end. Again, you do this for about three minutes and you will definitely notice a significant change. And you can do these even outside of meditation. So once you get in a nice state, what I did is I have this lingam here. This one's about, I think it's roughly six inches, give or take. And I held it in my hands in a certain way, which I've been experimenting with different hand positions. Now there is no right or wrong. And remember, when you get your hands on these, they, they may guide you to do something completely different or, or alternate variations. Trust your intuition and guidance with these. I'm just sharing you with what they've been sharing with me, which may be unique to me or may be applicable to you. So my hands, I'm holding my phone with my hands, so it'd be hard to share, but let me see if I can prop this up real quick and then I will try to uh, demonstrate. So hopefully this stays. Okay, so my hands are in my lap in this position. And what I would do, what I did is I have the lingam like this. So all my fingers, my fingertips are all touching, my thumb is touching, and I'm holding it like this. And what I'm doing here now is I was guided to do is project my consciousness into the lingam itself. So how that, if I can try to put it into words, how that uh, feels or is perceived is I kind of move my consciousness into the center of the lingam. I don't necessarily feel the shape. Actually, what I feel is I perceive is this, this vast space. Because remember, these are this this is a portal. This is the first and the last form, alpha and the omega, and through this lingam, inside of this lingam, is the, tr the transcendental state from which is even the substratum of Om. It is the primordial, fundamental condition that we all come from. You can call it God, you can call it whatever you want to call it. So I, I just feel myself in this vast space. And the, the intention or the willpower, the uh, expect, intention, expectation, which is this willpower, intention, expectation is I am in this space of miracle, that I am sort of immersed in a sea of space of miracle and that the, the ex, intention, expectation is miracles are filling my life. All my desires are being fulfilled. So what I was doing was I'd first stay in this pos in this position and I'm just sort of in the space charging up with this miracle power. It's just filling me. It's a, totally immersing me. 
And then through my head, I was rolling through my manifestations. Now, if I haven't taught this yet, I have mentioned about the thought matrices, but I've taken this a step further. Maybe I'll make a separate video about this, which is a vision board. So I was at Powell's bookstore the other day, and I was guided to pick this book, uh, book off the shelf. And I came across, it's about creating prosperity miracles. And one of the things that's recommended is you create a vision board. So I have actually a digital one on this digital notebook, or I have, about, I think it's got five sections with relationship, money, health, and some other things and I have a couple affirmations and then I've gone on the internet and I have found all these images that inspire me to uh, kind of depict what those affirmations are for example um, I have an invincible digestive system whatever I eat digests perfectly and I have pictures of like uh, I have I have a picture of the uh, what is that chakra called gosh I'm going to blank the the navel chakra the actual uh, Lotus and with the ram and the little Sanskrit symbol. I have a picture of a, like a flame in the stomach. I have a picture of a person who's kind of glowing light. And it just, it paints a picture for me. I also have money and I have number. And, and so what I was doing is in this meditation after spending significant time, I mean, it really felt like I was, time had kind of disappeared. I, I was, I could have been there for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't even know. And uh, I would just sort of see them out, affirm to myself, and I'm using this power of miracles. And as I'm saying them, uh, the miracles are happening. And then I would kind of conclude with, uh, my desires manifest beyond my expectation. My desires are fulfilled beyond my imagination. And just affirming that all this is, is true and the miracles, um, you know, my bad time is destroyed. I only experience great time kind of guided in this flow of affirmations with visualizations and even beyond visualizations also the experience the feeling the uh the uh, tangible feeling of just going through these and you don't have to make it complicated you can just also go in that space and know that miracles are filling your life and know that your desires are fulfilled you don't have to complicate it this is something that i was guided to do i would say start out very simple and if you feel like you want to go through do it if not just work on getting in that space in this and using this lingam because these are again, these are living uh, living stones if you want to call them stones. They are living beings. This is Shiva itself. It's the lingam itself, the uh, the feminine, the masculine. It's all in one. This is all the devas, every all the principles. Even Om comes out of the lingam if you read the lingam Purana. Uh, when the that massive lingam appeared to Vishnu and Brahma. They, they were able to perceive Om coming out of it. So this even comes, the Om comes out of this. So whatever Deva, if you want to work with a specific god or goddess, you can access them. All of them can be accessed through these lingams because they all live in here. They all come from this. This is the primordial state of being, if you will. So again, if you haven't watched my first video on these, check it out. Um, you can find these the, uh, online. I recommend... If you can, go get them in person because you can feel them and make connections with them and know if they're right or wrong. Um, they're at most crystal shops. In fact, every crystal shop that I've been in the Portland area has had these. They're also very, very affordable. Um, they're very awesome, and I'm just so excited about them. I also am um, wearing them as well. I always keep them with me. I'm actually looking at getting a bracelet with them and maybe even a mala. I'm just so excited about these. But give this meditation a try if you do. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'd always love to dialogue with you. Wishing you the best. God bless.